in our previous videos we, we have discussed allow how to mount the drive how to create a connection engine and handle the sqlite database now we'll learn how to use a distinct query or to get the unique data from the tables so this is the basic template we have used so the same one will continue and we will modify the query now instead of select all the data select distinct distinct say we want all the unique classes to be displayed only so that's all select distinct class from student let's run this query we'll see yeah so here we are getting the you are using fetch all and getting the list so one we are printing by using uh, by using loop all the rows of the all the elements of the list and there is no error so we are getting and in the else block we have used a len function to print the number of elements in the our list if uh, you can create a error in this we can see this. So, let's say we are use the wrong uh, column name or class one we are used so no such column as class one fine so this is how a distinct query can be used to get the unique data from the database so let's move further we will again we use this now we will go with a where condition select distinct class from student where uh, let's say where mark is uh, greater than equal to 80 now this is a restricted condition we have used so let's see how many records are qualifying okay fine there are only five records fine now let's move further we will use order by order by means in the particular sequence we want to it will be in alphabetical order so we will add order by order by column is class so let's see now how this works you can see this is in particular order alphabetically from beginning to from uh, a to z now let's go one more step and use two columns to issue to apply distinct now distinct instead of only class let's put sex here also because another column is sex in that so now row is zero because now we are getting two data so two columns so we'll go our list will have each row will have two elements so row zero row one now let's run this code and see uh, row zero row one print or oh sorry here fine let's run this now you can see these are all two columns are there we can use use the order by also let's say order by class we can use so now we'll have say based on the available data this is now in the order of the class say if you have null data also null data will be picked up as a distinct so if you don't want to include that then you can use not null and remove the null data so this is how distinct query is used to get the unique data from our table